NBC building. I haven't watched NBC in years, though. All right, so I look around the, I guess they call us Riverwalk. Little picnic area over there is open. I think that's a hot dog spot. You got some folks kayaking, getting some exercise. Folks, I used to have a kayak too. And then you look back over this way, there's a, there's Trump Tower, DJT. All right, so that's the Wendella right there. Got some lovers on the front of that thing, like the Titanic. That tour takes you. Nice boat, though. Right, here's another look at the river walk. And this is Columbus Drive. I was standing right over there. I came across this bridge. And now I'm going to head that direction towards the Trump building and see what's happening over that way. All right, folks, there's uh, Michigan Avenue. I don't know how you say that. Sable Bridge. Couple nice boats coming through. You couldn't ask for a better day here in Chicago, Illinois, my friend. Where are all the protests at? I'm trying to find a protest. Ain't no cars on fire. Ain't nobody protesting. Look, people kayaking. People walking with the families. That's why you don't fucking believe anything the goddamn U.S. media tells you. Flames and smoke, that sells newspapers, everything else don't. All right, let's go over here and DJT spot, see what's happening. You know, to the right side, we got the Carbide and Carbon building. That's a nice looking building right there. They're doing some construction here at the Old Republic building. We're walking through. All right, I'm tired of Michigan Avenue. Let's go down East Lake Street. All right, so that brought us to Millennium Park. I'm not sure what's open. I think you can get it in there. Got some crowds up here. And we'll see what's happening. Beautiful little park. Have you heard of the flying spaghetti monster? I have money, I have things, I can buy things, I can go out. I have my older brother, so I was using older brother's IDs to go. I got a street preacher. Yeah, I think I'm going to go see that monument over there. I don't know how to get street in. Street preacher's talking about he, uh, wasn't doing any better until he quit fornicating, committing adultery. You know, whatever. It's his perspective on life. Now he's out there preaching the gospel. But the entrance to this place is all the way down to the end. All right, folks, so inside the park, there's no fee to come in here. The entrance is down here at Michigan, and I'm not sure what that side street is, but you got to wear a mask if you're coming to uh, Millennium Park. So without further ado. I'm not sure what this thing's supposed to be. I mean, it's a structure that holds lighting. I'm gonna get up here and read about this thing. There you go. That looks like some type of amphitheater, right? I'm not no fucking genius, but uh, if I had to guess, that opens up. Get the stage. Yeah, okay, all right. Now I see chairs down there. So I'm on the right track. You bring your blanket, get a spot on the grass. Okay. Looks like it needs a paint job. Some beautiful ladies over there. Yeah, there you go. There's a close up. Pretty, pretty cool venue to uh, catch a concert out through here. 
We call that the shiny butter bean or the shiny kidney. Thing reflects everything, but it looks like a kidney. Just all the architecture of these buildings downtown. My goodness. All you gotta do is get on the sidewalk with a loudspeaker. You start preaching and they will come. That's a church, folks. The ministry. That's the Art Institute of Chicago. Another view of it. The U shaped like a V. The U and Institute shaped like a V, but I guess that's from the art. And make the U artistic. You gotta make it look like a V. Straight ahead is the, the Great Lake. See what's going on down at the seashore. It says Butler Field. Butler, the Chicago merchant. Yeah, folks, there's a look around. And I think I'm going over there. I'm going to, I think that's Buckingham Fountain. Got a gentleman here flying a drone. People having picnics. Man, you just talk about an absolute beautiful day downtown Chicago. But I still haven't got me nothing to eat and no beer. I figured, you know, if I got uh, hunkered down in some, in a bar or pizzeria or whatever, got to drinking. We might not make this walk so i was like you know what let me let me go on this walk and check out everything then i'm going in for the attack on some uh, chicago pizza tempted to go after the uh chinese takeout but you know i you can get good chinese takeout everywhere in the world not the world everywhere in the states i don't know we'll see what the where the wind blows this dog i'm a wanderer i seen some of the finest sisters up in the park over there my goodness my goodness i've seen some of the biggest asses on white girls that i've seen in fucking eight years i've seen some sights today and i've only been in america for about five hours but i gotta be honest with you coming through chicago or uh coming through the airport seriously i saw some of the biggest asses you've ever seen in your life. Maybe, maybe that's the norm these days. But you gotta understand, living in Southeast Asia, you don't see asses that big. You know, occasionally through the airport on a big white girl. But my God, Woo, coming through that oh, Chicago O'Hare. What's that jackass doing? Folks, I'm a little bit disappointed. I ain't gonna lie to you. I thought I was gonna come back and see cars on fire, people protesting, shit spray painted everywhere. You know, Chicago, you read the news. I mean, I know there's a lot of damn gun violence and uh, deaths every weekend here, but it ain't happening in, in this section of town. I'm kind of disappointed. I, I wanted to see some fucking protests, talk to some people. Only thing I've seen so far is one guy was wearing a shirt that said Black Lives Matter. That's all I've seen. I'm fucking disappointed. You know, on the other side of the globe, I thought I was going to come here and see some fucking action. Ain't no action. I'm not saying it's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm just saying. I ain't seen nothing. I'm taking you on this tour. You look around. And you tell me if you see any protesters or graffiti or anything like that. I don't think so. All right, let me try to check out this fountain. That's just beautiful. This shade right here through them trees. Got the sun peeking through. Woo, if I had me a cooler beer, a couple chicks, I have a little picnic right there. All right, let's see if we can get across the street without getting run over. I have to check my map to see if this is the fountain. See on uh, Google Maps.
Man, this is Buckingham Fountain, but the fountain ain't got no water in it. I guess somebody didn't pay the water bill. I've no no idea what the history is between this uh, Buckingham the Buckingham Fountain. But now I do know some history about this hotel up here. It's called Congress Hotel. It's supposed to be haunted, right? Or am I way off? Is that the, is that the place that uh, Al Capone used to stay at? Because, see, I was going to stay at the Drake. At the last minute, I swapped over to the Embassy Suites. Bad call. I should have stayed at the Drake. Um, but the Congress Hotel, let me show you right here. That's it right there, Congress Hotel. All right, so where that fountain's at is South Columbus at Ida B. Wells Drive. That's the Buckingham Fountain. Again, don't know nothing about the history. I didn't see anything that would talk about the history. It's beautiful with that sun going down over the building over there. But I'm headed up here to the Congress Hotel just to take a look. So many uh, nice greenery, what do you want to call them? Green spaces, I guess is what they call it. Green space areas here in downtown Chicago. Everybody's having picnics and chilling. Looks like they got a couple horses, statues out front of the Congress Hotel. Some jackass done fucking did some graffiti on this bridge. Stupid motherfuckers. Folks, it is so quiet. My goodness. How can a major city like this be so quiet? Look at the railroad tracks. And, folks, I think that's the Drake, but I may be way off. That looks like the Drake. There's the Congress. Look at them railroad tracks. I take a picture. Okay, so you got East Congress Plaza Drive at Ida B. Wells and back over there in Michigan. So I guess the Congress is actually on Michigan. So let's take a left and go down here and see if I can find the Drake. Nice little quiet area, this park. Look, like I'm the only dude here. All right, so we cross the street. Still following railroad tracks, and apparently this is a great place to run. See a few runners come through here. Okay, now that's the Hilton Chicago right there. Right there is a Hilton Chicago. It's not the Drake. I'm way off. Walk a little further. It looks like an Irish bar, Kitty O'Shea's, but it looks like it's closed. <laughs> That's something interesting right here. Nice skateboard park. So these are lift bikes. I don't know how it works, but I guess you just check one out, check it back in at the next location. Nice looking cruisers. All right, so I just got done walking. I'm all the way down South Michigan Avenue at Roosevelt, and I see it at Aurelio's Pizza. I'm gonna check out. All right, folks, Aurelio's. Happy hour, craft beer. Patio is open, let's go. There's a menu of beers. Now, folks, I was debating whether I was just going to drink and not order pizza, but these folks across from me, their pizza came. And it, it was so thick, and it's got sauce on top. So I ordered me a, uh, I got a small pepperoni coming. I ordered a Bud Light just to do a couple things. You know, my buddy brought, he brought me three cans of Bud Light all the way to Beloit Beach, in Subic. And when I tasted those Bud Lights, they did not taste like the familiar Bud Light I'm used to. So I just tasted this, and this tastes exactly like the cans he brought me. 
but this is not the same Bud Light, um, you know, almost a decade ago when I dipped out of the U.S. It's not the same Budweiser. Changed something on me. All right, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm done with Budweiser. It's not the same. It used to be a Bud Light, man. It's not anymore. So I hit this craft beer, a little IPA. Can't go wrong with an IPA craft beer. But uh, Budweiser's off the list. Price swapping the Yingling while I'm here in the States. A little bit dark for my taste. But hey, IPA, can't go wrong. Delicious taste, good quality. I'm tasting quality right there. Not that piss water that Budweiser putting out with Bud Light. Shame on you, Budweiser. I'm changing my beloved Bud Light. Shame on you. Folks, take a look at that. That's a good looking pie right there. My goodness. Aurelio's Pizza. Let's see if we can't get a tune. Get a tune out of this trombone. Mm. Mm. It's delicious. A lot of good pizza around the world. But that right there, mm, that's familiar. My goodness. I made a good choice on this, folks. Wow. We're in my second craft beer, an IPA. But let me let me give a big shout out to the folks here at Aurelio's Pizza. It's uh, Roosevelt Road at South Michigan Avenue. It was at East, East Roosevelt at South Michigan, just off of Grant Park. My God, that pizza is 100% on time. Excellent. A couple craft beers. Excellent. The Bud Light. I'm never drinking Bud Light again. A shout out to my waiter. Took care of me, folks. What a great meal. My first meal back in the United States after many years. So, uh down here in Chicago near Grand Park check out Aurelio's uh, delicious that's all I can say is delicious shout out to them great job thank you but it's time for me to roll damn I ate so much I can barely fucking walk I'm telling you my goodness the day is already turned to night it's time for me to get back towards the embassy suites because I got an early morning flight oh shit it means to walk hey real nice Street lamps there. Nice warm glue. And this little sidewalk cafe here next to the 808 Essex on the park. And again, coming up on the Hilton Chicago, the hotel I thought was the Drake, but it's not. It's the Hilton. And there you go. Our hotel is temporarily suspended operations. So the Hilton Chicago is not open. There's fireworks going on back there. The theater school at DePaul University. And the Blackstone. Looks like it's closed up. Blackstone Hotel on the National Register of Historic Places. But it appears to be closed. Man, this is a fine arts building. Architecture, beautiful. Just like many of the buildings here downtown in Chicago. Coming up on the Van Buren Street Station. But I'm not in the market. I gotta keep trucking straight, my friends. After I cross the river, I'm gonna cut a right. It's like this Metropolitan Tower, which there's nobody living in, is for lease. Seems like there's a lot of these condo buildings down here. They ain't got nobody in them. Flying a flag. See several cars riding around today flying various flags. I guess it's a beautiful day to be doing so. See, here's another one. This is boarded up here. Nice old buildings, condo buildings, whatever the hell they are. They're fucking empty. 
All right, that's really the first sign I've seen of uh, anything like that. School of the Art Institute of Chicago. Got some motorbikes rolling through. DJT's spot at night. And you know what I realized? Like, everybody seems to be smoking weed now. You can't pass people walking down the street without people smoking weed. I'm not judging. I'm just making a statement. It used to not be like that. Now, everybody's smoking weed when you go past them. My goodness. Shout out to DJT. Nice little spot right there. Chicago, Chicago, Chicago. <laughs> I can love it. Fucking Chicago at night. Fucking nice. Uh, this is Michael Jordan's spot right here. Ooh, Michael Jordan's steakhouse. Right there. Please use main entrance. So there we go. Time for that. It says Hotel Intercontinental. Like the funniest dude of the night goes to this guy that's walking in front of me. Him and his buddy, actually a badass looking chick. They uh, were smoking, smoking a hooter, smoking a joint, and he had a Bluetooth speaker. He was fucking dancing, stoned out of his gourd. That was pretty entertaining. Got to see his performance. But now it's time for me to take it on back to the barn, folks. I want to thank everybody for joining me on this little walking tour of Chicago. Certainly appreciate you being here. This is called Texas de Brazil Steakhouse. And down there you got a Restaurante Italiano. Beautiful little Italian spot. Uh, eating outside. That looks familiar. But like I said, it's been 20 fucking years since I've been here. I can't really say that looks familiar. Here's this little roundabout. It comes up to a place called Egg Harbor Cafe. That's funny because there's a place called Egg Harbor Township in New Jersey. I kicked it back in the day over there. Good times. A place called Pistol Pete's. At the Whole Foods. That's the Sheraton looking over there. But I, I just got to go across the street now. And there we go, back at the Embassy Suites. Including a beautiful mine in Chicago. Ah, fuck it, ain't no cars coming. There's a Sheraton over there. It's time for me to take it to the barn, my friends. If you're not a subscriber on my channel, bottom right hand corner of your screen, hit that Overstay Road sign, smash subscribe, and hit that fucking bell. You can get on board my channel. I certainly appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this tour of Chicago. This is Sunday. Uh, what was it? July 21st or 22nd? Can't remember. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out, my friends.